Want to learn how to read music for drums? Then you're watching the right video, because we're starting right now. What's up everyone, CJ here, I hope you're all doing well. Sight reading for drummers isn't necessarily required to become a successful musician, but it certainly doesn't hurt to know how to read music. This is gonna be the first of many videos where I'll go through basic music theory for drummers, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some common rhythms, how to read them, how to count them, and their sticking. Before we start, I just wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I post a new video. And if you wanna get some exclusive bonus content, you can join my channel membership. All my channel members can download everything from this lesson, including the transcriptions, the click tracks, and my drum tracks in the link in the member community tab. So if you're not a channel member yet, consider joining to get some extra bonus content. Okay guys, let's start with the quarter note. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna count all rhythms in 4-4. The quarter note is worth four strokes within every 4-4 measure, and you count them as simple as one, two, three, four. If we look at the transcription, you'll see that the quarter note is a solid dot with a staff pointing upwards. The sticking is alternating right and left for each quarter note. Let's try it first at a slow tempo at 60 BPM, and then I'm gonna speed it up to 90 BPM. That wasn't so bad, right? Okay, let's move on to the eighth notes. Eighth notes are quarter notes that has been split in two. So if you split four quarter notes in two, you get, you guessed it, eight eighth notes. Or if you're British, you might call them quavers. The transcription will show that the eighth notes look similar to the quarter notes, but now there's a small flag on top of the staff. And instead of writing out eight individual notes with a flag on every measure, you can tie these together in groupings of two or four with what in music theory is called a beam. It's easier to read that way. Eighth notes are counted as one and, two and, three and, four and. And of course, the sticking is alternating right and left. Let's try it out at 60 BPM and then at 90 BPM. Good job, you guys. Now we're playing 16th notes. Now we're doing the same thing to the eighth notes that we did to the quarter notes. We're splitting them in two. Split every eighth note in two and you get 16 16th notes. As you can see, the 16th note has two flags on the staff. And since one quarter note is worth four 16th notes, we write them out in groupings of four with two beams that tie them together. 16th notes are counted as one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. And of course the sticking is right, left, right, left. Let's try them out.
Awesome work, you guys. Now I'm gonna show you some combinations of these different note values and how to count them. The first is one eighth note and two sixteenth notes tied together. As you can see, the eighth note is linked together with one beam to the two sixteenth notes that has two beams, marking them as sixteenth notes. When you count this out, you go one and a two and a three and a four and a one. And to make it even easier for the complete beginners or when I'm teaching children how to play this rhythm, you can also count this out by saying a word that has the same amount of syllables as the corresponding rhythm. So for example, in this case, you could go strawberry, 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 strawberry. It's the same thing. One and a two and a strawberry, strawberry. See? You'll also notice that the sticking here is right, right, left. And that's because you should always have an underlying subdivision of 16th notes. So since this rhythm starts with an eighth note, which is worth two 16th notes, you should imagine a silent 16th note in between where the first left stroke would have been. Let's just try it out. Now we can switch it around and start with the two 16th notes and end on the eighth note. When you count this out, you go one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. And of course you can count this with a word just like the previous exercise. So in this case, you could for example say coconut, 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 coconut. Same thing, one E and, two E and, coconut, coconut. The sticking here is right, left, right, and then it starts again with a right-handed stroke, since the 16th note subdivision indicates that silent left stroke at the end. Let's try it out. All right, you guys, those were some common rhythms and how to count them. In the next lesson of this video series, I'm gonna talk about musical rests and practice other rhythms. A special thanks to all my channel members out there. You guys can download everything from this lesson via the link in the members community tab. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. Now, do you feel like you wanna improve your groove? Then you can check out this video or that video. Thank you so much for watching everyone and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.